Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Keep It Real. So let's talk about human reproduction, uh, or even reproduction of any animal. It's just kind of an amazing, almost miraculous thing. There's so many of the right things have to come together to make a baby. But obviously it happens, and it happens a lot, but it's, uh, it's a very complex process and there's a few things that can throw off that process and can decrease the chance of, of reproducing. Um, so there's an interesting article that was published recently in, uh, in a journal called Human Reproduction and, um, and they talked about uh, something very interesting. What they did is they uh, evaluated the diets of over 5,500 women in an international study and let me just cut to the chase. Here's what it showed. The more fast food that a woman ate, the greater the increase of infertility. Remember, infertility is, just means um, you know, difficulty getting pregnant. And so isn't that interesting? The more fast food that was eaten, and what they showed is that the, there's a significant increase in infertility when a woman ate um, four fast food uh, meals per week. And so four fast food meals per week increase the chance of having infertility or decrease the chance of getting pregnant. And um, that's fascinating for lots of different reasons. But one key reason is, or one key aspect that I find interesting about that is why did the human body do that? Um, what's going on there? Like why did certain foods affect the ability for a woman to get pregnant? There's something about these foods that caused such a shift in the system that mother nature built something into the body that said, when it's in this particular state, this person is not healthy enough to reproduce, to get pregnant, to um, develop another life. That's, that's major. That's a really, really major thing as far as I'm concerned. Um, and so what is it about fast food? And the way that they de describe fast food is fast food from fast food restaurants. And that seems a little simplistic, but that's to differentiate between fast food restaurants and food that you can buy at um, you know, a grocery store and make at home. They didn't account for those kind of foods. It's very specific. They just looked at fast food from fast food restaurants and four or more meals per week significantly decreased the chance of a woman getting pregnant. And so what is it about fast food that creates this pretty dramatic state in the human body that inhibits a woman from getting pregnant, which is you know, probably the most fundamental thing that a life form does is reproduce. And having fast food significantly affects that. That's a big deal. Um, and so what is it about fast food that creates this situation in the body that decreases the chance of getting pregnant? Well, one of the things is it's high in sugar and really refined, crappy carbohydrates. Um, it's quite devoid of fruits and vegetables and um, really bad fats, bad sources of fats. And the meat, the meat is not meat. Um, haven't you thought about some of these commercials lately from fast food restaurants that say, now we're serving 100% Angus beef? It's like, well, crap, what was it before? Um, and what it was before was probably, and still now in a lot of, I think a lot of fast food is like fake meat. And, you know, there's probably some meat in their meat you know, some actual beef or chicken or turkey or whatever they're serving, but it's blended in with a bunch of other who knows what ingredients. But anyhow, that, all that stuff is getting to the human body and messing with it so much that affects the ability for a woman to get pregnant. That's a big deal. And uh, it just tells you how integral food and the food choices we make are to normal functioning uh, human body. So think of what that has to affect. That has to affect the brain because the brain is the master conductor of all the hormones of the body. It has to affect the glands that produce these hormones. It has to produce the hormones because that's what's likely throwing off um, the ability of a woman to uh, get pregnant and maintain a pregnancy. 
they have to have proper hormones. But then we have to think about things like inflammation, gastrointestinal function, and right on down the list. And just that amount of fast food consumption um, could significantly affect the ability for a woman to get pregnant. So this was a study that uh, I thought was totally fascinating. And, um, and they use a large uh, population size, which always gives a study more merit. So I thought it was interesting, and it was international. Um, so anyhow, I hope you find that as interesting as, as I do. So certainly, if, if you or someone you love is trying to get pregnant, no fast food. So enjoy your home-cooked meals. I'll keep reading the studies, bringing you the information. Until then, keep it real.